it's just kind of always been, a, this is always homecoming for Garrett coming back here. I mean, just the jumps you've made this season, I mean, how much has that been a big part of what you guys have been able to do so far this season? Yeah, uh, you know, when Derek plays at his best on both ends of the floor, uh, it makes us a different team and gives us a really good chance to win. So, uh, happy that he gets to be here and, you know, in his hometown, uh, but also happy we get to have him on our team for every game. Uh, every game, uh, there's always 10 to 12 possessions, regardless of if you win or lose, that you got to continue to work on and get better at. Uh, I think our team has done a really good job, uh, regardless of the result, of taking those 10 or 12 possessions and moving on. And, um, you know, anytime you get into a close game, uh, you know, those possessions matter. So, um, you know, especially that last fourth quarter in general, uh, I thought there was some really good offensive execution as far as getting the ball where it needed to go, getting to the right space and getting the right type of shot we wanted. Uh, we didn't make those shots. Uh, and then I think there was like five or six possessions that, uh, you know, we, we have to get better at, whether it's the kneeing and child threes, the bonus fouls, uh, and just situations like that. So I think it was a good learning opportunity for us to be in. Uh, it wasn't a position that we haven't been in in uh, some time. Uh, so it was really good, you know. So it's funny. I think I think the uh, because you blow a twenty point lead doesn't always necessarily mean that there's slippage in some capacity, you know. So uh, as I'm uh, observing the possessions of that game, more of the possessions than not weren't necessarily slippage. You know, they were uh, like I said. I thought we got the ball where we needed to do go, got the spacing that we needed to get to, and uh, for the most part, got the right shot that we got to. You know, I think the the slippage came uh, on the kneeing inch out three, the kneeing corner three. Uh, the Dean Wade offensive rebound, the bonus foul under two minutes already when it, when it was a close game. And so our guys are very, uh, you know, equipped, have the tools and mature enough to get themselves out of situations. I think they did a good job of that. We ended up taking a one-point lead, and then we just didn't get the rebound, you know. So, um, you know, I think that's a, as I'm diagnosing that, uh, you know, most of that uh, wasn't slippage. Um, it was five or six possessions that we got to get better at, you know. You don't have a lot of uh, post-loss double boost in this league that much. So what is the vibe like with the players – one of the things I think that has a strength of this team is they handle wins and losses relatively the same. And, uh, you know, we've talked about that where we can't, you know, stay attached to a win for too long. And I think the same thing is also for a loss. Like, regardless of the result, we have a game within the next 48 hours. So it really doesn't matter. What matters is those possessions that we have to learn from, whether you win or lose. And I think the team's done a great job of that. So uh, it doesn't feel much different after a win or a loss because, uh, you know, the guys are focused on the process of, of getting better on those possessions. Uh, I mean, sure, yeah, they have two great players. They're well coached. They have a great team. Uh, you know, won the championship last year, so I don't necessarily sit in here saying, like, uh, this is a barometer to see where we're at, but I do think they're a, an example of what a great team is in the NBA. And so, uh, you know, you have respect for that. Is there anything in particular unique about playing in Denver as opposed to any other road game that you've played? Are you trying to hint at the 5,280-foot sign that's in the middle of the lane? I just pointed out, but I'm just uh, curious if you, you do that. I don't, no, no. What's unique about the Jokic-Murray team that you're uh, <laughs> Well, I mean, Murray has the ability to shoot off the dribble threes, pull up twos, finish at the rim. Uh, Jokic has the ability to pop and make, make a couple threes. He has the ability to catch it in the seam and finish. And so uh, it just presents a lot of different problems. Uh, and, you know, we got into a close game with them last time. And uh, the guys did a good job shifting around matchups, uh, you know, different coverages. Murray hit some tough shots. Jokic missed, I think, like a wide open shot when we blitzed. And so there really isn't a right answer uh, to their ability to attack the two-man game. Uh, it comes down to just, you know, physicality. It comes down to toughness and, and you know, two really good teams trying to make plays. But, uh, yeah, kind of sums it up. Thank you. Thank you.